So now that I've done a couple murals um, in the past year, I thought that it would be a good idea to go through the materials that I use and my process. So I'm going to be starting off with explaining this mural behind me. The first thing that I need when I'm painting a mural is a ladder. Any place that I work at, they usually have ladders, and if they don't have ladders, they will usually provide me with, some, with a, a ladder to use. The second thing that I use is paint. This size. I will usually just work with sample sized paint. If it's something like black and white that I need a lot of, because a lot of my murals can be black and white, I'll use like the big gal like this for the colors that I'm gonna be using a lot of. But if I'm using one specific color that I'm not gonna be using a lot and it's not a staple in my work, I'll use something like this. So this whole mural was based on the brand color, like a cream color, yellow, blue, purple, light purple, white. I have these big gallons because they used it to paint their walls. So this is the one that I use to paint a lot of the stuff on it. And then this is the small containers that they provided me with to use. And this was more than enough. A year now and I painted a couple of different murals and I really learned to use paint very sparingly. You can always put it back into the container, but if I'm mixing and stuff, I don't want it to kind of contaminate the other paint. The next thing that I need when I'm painting are brushes. So all the brushes that I use are from Michael. So if I'm painting uh, on a texture that's something like brick and it's really hard to get into, I'll use one of these heavy duty ones. But if I'm, but I'm, if I'm painting on a flat wall like this, I like to use this this uh, colored bristle very soft and it doesn't it doesn't come off I use, I use while I paint this tape tape is very very important the two things that I use tape for is taping the out the edges so I don't so I don't get it on the other wall this chip lab was very expensive and I didn't want to get any paint on it so I used tape to cover it I use like bigger sheets of paper and when I'm doing lines or if I'm doing like line work, I also use tape to make sure it's perfect. It's so much easier. And make sure to take off the tape while the paint is still wet because the paint is acrylic, it's plastic. If you take it off when the paint is dry, the paint will also come off. I think lastly, what I need, what I need to use is a Sharpie. I don't like to use the regular Sharpies because they just worn out so fast. And when I'm doing an outline, if the, if the wall is like really rough, it'll just like die down. So I like to use this one. This is a Sharpie permanent marker with the chisel tip. I've used this marker multiple times for multiple different projects and it's still brand new. And I love that. To actually put my paint on, I like to use paper plates. I feel like it's really easy to make sure the colors are in different places and it's easy for me to mix. From like the dollar store my favorite i also need paper towel because quickly to dry my brushes or to wipe my hands or to wipe the wall or anything and lastly if i'm doing a big portion like the skyline that i did i like to use a roller because the paintbrush will create streaks so a roller works best and the last thing that I personally started using recently, of course, like you don't need it to paint murals, but I chose to invest in an iPad a year after I decided that I was going to take my art seriously. So my iPad is like great because on pencil paper, it was, I would have to redraw everything again and like fix it and like, you know, it was just like really annoying. But with my iPad, it's really helpful and it really, really helped me. Plus I use it for time lapses and to make videos, that's all you need.